Aloha and welcome to Island Style. I'm your host, Taizo Braden, and here we are at the beautiful, magical Royal Iolani Palace. I gotta ask, when was the last time you were down here? Well, it's changed, but it's also stayed the same. And we're so lucky in Hawaii to be surrounded by magical and spiritual places like this. And in this episode, we're gonna take a deeper dive into the music, the hula, the artwork, and well, the history that's part of our culture that we're so lucky to live every day here in Hawaii. This is Island Style. I hope you guys are ready. Oh, it's been a good time together. I'm so sorry, but you know what? We all know Kapono's music has been the soundtrack of all of our lives. And it's a cool thing because his experiences, whether it's touring, songwriting, coming up with a CD, which is an amazing artistic process, he's done it all. And he now wants to share that knowledge and carry on the legacy that he was taught to the next generations of musicians. And it's gonna sound amazing. I've been doing this for, for a, lot, a lot of years, and um, I mean, I'm so, I feel so blessed that I can continue this, this music career that I always loved, you know. And we got together with First Hawaiian Bank, and they, they're big supporters and you know, partnering on this project. And then we decided, well, we're going to get the younger artists involved and, and have them do C&K songs. Come. I've known Henry and uh, his wife Leslie for a long time because my dad used to play with CNK in the uh, early 2000s. So I was around it um, my whole life. And when I was I was living in LA for a few years trying to learn more about music, Henry would be in San Juan Capistrano at the coach house. Henry said, oh, you, I already have an opening act, but do you want to just come and jump up on stage? And I was like, this was like two days before. I thought, okay, well, why not? He said, what song do you want to play? I said, Sunflower, let's do it. And he goes, okay. I had never played Sunflower in my whole life, but it was just my favorite CNK song, and so I threw it out there. We went up and did it for the concert. It was a moment that I think changed my life because I was at a point where I was in LA for about two years, and I was hitting a lot of roadblocks. I was failing a lot at everything I did with music. And I was getting to the point where I was tired of it, and it was hard to really get back up again. And so something like that is simple of just saying, yeah, come down and jam and then doing it and having that feeling of something successful, that really catapulted me and made me want to go further. And, you know, with Henry and his team, that started it all. Sunflower with the eyes of blue, I do everything. Me. He's like, hey, Paula, this is um, Henry Capono. I was like, hey, what's up? And then, have you ever heard of my group, um, CNK? <laughs> and I was like, uh, yeah, of course I have. I said, before you say anything, let me tell you this story. When I was about four or five years old, and I was listening to his song, Song for Someone, come on, and I told him, it was the first time in my life that I clearly remember picking apart a song and I remember thinking this is so cool this guy is writing a song about not being able to write a song it's so cool man one day I'm gonna write a song like that and I told him that story and um, he invited me to be a part of his project and we already knew what song it would be <laughs> and I guess it's the wrong time the wrong time the wrong time of day to write a song for you. Ooh. 
It was supposed to be, I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> It's so nice to see familiar faces out in the crowd It's so nice to see friends of mine enjoying themselves Capone's was very successful and then 9-11 uh, hit You know, we had to struggle to get back on our feet I remember when I was down and out, you came. We were in collections. You know, we had people knocking on our doors saying, we want money, we want money. That's where the first Hawaiian bank came in. And Greg, he's the one that really sat us down and, and said, OK, you know, we have to put a plan together and we have to make it work. It took us two or three years to get back on our feet and really get to understand the business. And the last three years, it was booming. That was just the beginning. And they've been with us through thick and thin ever since. It's been a great friendship and relationship. And smiles that are real. We are friends. And now we're starting a foundation, the Capono Foundation, to help others like Greg and First Hawaiian Bank has helped us. You know, I'm real fortunate because the songs that we have created have been classics and have lived till now. And these kids grew up with it. The business is tough. So many people out there that want a piece of you, a piece of your action, a piece of everything. If I can teach them something and further their career, then I think that's what I should do. We are friends, everybody's friends. Friends, friends, we are friends, whoa, 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 friends, friends, we are friends, friends, friends. Thank you. Up next, we're going to head down to Iolani Palace for the 41st annual Prince Lot Hula Festival. Mm -hmm.